Golden Globe winner Taraji B. Henson is here, yes, in the building. She rose to fame in 2005 with a breakout performance in the movie Hustle and Flow, among other things in the early 2000s. Now, she's starring in the new musical adaptation of the beloved classic, The Color Purple. She plays a sultry singer, Suge Avery. That's right, Suge is coming. In this clip, Suge performs a song, Push the Button. And we are pushing the button on one of the most versatile talents in the industry, Taraji P. Henson. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Thank you so much for that. Of course. <laughs> of course. Now, uh, we just watched you perform mm -hmm. Push the Button. What was it like? Because you weren't just singing. You were singing and performing and dancing and moving. Yes, thank you. Well, I went to Howard University and I studied musical theater, so I had some training there. Um, but you're... It's just incredible when you get to sing, dance, and act. It's just, it's so much fun. But it's it's fun, <laughs> but it's also hard work. It's a lot work of work. Oh, no, no, no. You you were jumping up on tables. You don't have a stunt double when you're no. doing something like this, right? No. Were you sore? Very sore. Um, actually, Oprah, Miss Oprah Winfrey counted how many times I climbed up on the table, and it was 88 times. 88 times? Wow. 88 times. And what you did not see was me icing my knees in between takes. Wow. Taraji, oh, yeah. was it intimidating at all singing like that? Because I didn't know you could sing, sing <laughs> right? I've heard you do a little bit, but especially in a movie full of singers. Oh, absolutely, I was intimidated. That's why I started training with my vocal coach, Stevie Mackey. Hey, Stevie! <laughs> in um, LA, we started training about two weeks, about, no, no, two months before I even went um, to uh, Atlanta to start filming. So, mm. yeah, I had to get on top of it because I knew after that, then I had to, we were going to add the layer of choreography. and then. Sheesh talking and walking and so I needed the music in me to live in me. Yeah, you had to to build this character. Absolutely. What was your inspiration, your source material? How did you how did you construct this performance? Oh, well, you know, Alice Walker did a thing with the book. I mean, mm -hmm. it's all in the Bible. <laughs> in her book, I call her book the Bible, The Color Purple. But, you know, I listen to a lot of music. I listen to, I mean, you know, we're complaining about what the girls are rapping and singing about now. Did you ever hear about what they sang about back then? Facts. So I started listening to a lot of Bessie Smith. I found this really incredible artist Ida Cox who sings about why a woman don't have the blues because you know that would be Shug. Mm -hmm. And then I found this other interesting artist Pygmy Terry mm. that talks about the black sheep's blues and you know Shug Avery Shug. was a black sheep right. of her time as well. So I, just, I would just get in the tub and a tub full of bubbles and just lay back and listen to these women and I would let it just kind of mm overtake my body. Kind of wash over. You know, kind of wash over me, um, yeah. You know, I'm always fascinated by it. artists and how they identify with mm -hmm. the roles that they are taking. Mm -hmm. um, are there any parallels between Suge Avery and Taraji P. Henson? I would think so. I think I'm apologetically myself. Mm. You know, I left my zip code and um, made, went out into a big, scary world and made my dreams come true. Without mm. much in your pockets or Without bank account. much in my... Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the difference between Suge and I is I took my kid with me. She yeah. left her kids behind. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's what I love about your story, Taraji. Yeah. I mean, you were pregnant in college with mm -hmm. your high school sweetheart. You had your son. And for a lot of people, that would be a wrap on their dreams. But yeah. you took your son you went to Hollywood and you did it. You doubled down. Where did that come from? From people saying I wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want, if you want to see me do, I will prove you wrong every time you doubt me. So wow. that's what it was, and it wasn't even that really. It was just um, I just didn't feel like having a kid was a reason to drop out. If anything, yes, there is financial issues and everything, but I just signed. I I filled out. I you know I. Um, I got loans. I got student yeah. loans. I just made up my mind that I was not going to quit because if I quit, then what am I teaching my son? It was a reason to turn up. Absolutely. I was like, as anything, I have the most greatest inspiration to keep mm -hmm. going. Yeah. A kid, you know? I know so, yeah. I was you were going to be an electrical engineer. That was your alternative career path? Well, no. I didn't get accepted to the High School of Fine Arts in D.C. So at that young age, I thought that meant 
I, you know, you can't, you don't know what to do with that kind of rejection when you're yeah, little. You take yeah. it for face value, and I did, and I just followed behind a really good friend of mine, Candace Dickens. Hey, girl. She, <laughs> uh, she's really smart and wired mathematically, and she went to school for the career that she's doing now, and I followed behind her and failed pre-calc. Yeah. Um, this yeah. movie is a compliment to the original, and mm. it, it serves... Um, so many lessons and deals with themes that are relevant, like lifting each other up when you're down. Mm -hmm. When you were going through your journey of becoming who you are today, I know it always wasn't sunshine no. and rainbows. No, um, it still isn't. It still isn't, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> who or what lifted you up in some of your dark moments, or who does? Well, I have, I still have a praying grandmother. She will make a hundred in April, and wow. nothing wow. like a praying grandmother. That's right. Okay. Yep. Um, Powerful. And I have an incredible mother. I have an incredible family. They literally check on. We check on each other every day. And I have an amazing sister circle. Mm. Yeah, in in the industry, and I have a sister circle that I've had since. Hi, um, well, my best friend. Yeah. And she runs my uh, mental health foundation. We've been best friends since the seventh grade. Really? Well, I love yeah. what you've done with mental health. Really Thank trying to destigmatize, yes. talking about mental health issues, yeah. especially mm -hmm. in the black community. Right about that. And, you know, it's something that this, even this movie kind of is an extension of that. I, I noticed that you don't dwell on the trauma in the movie. Mm -hmm. There's tons of trauma in this mm -hmm. story, but it's really about the joy. Yeah, but that's us as a people. I mean, think about what's been done to black people throughout history and still happening today. And we're just vibrant people. Like, we yeah. just don't wallow in our traumas. We don't mm -hmm. let it consume us. We will sing. We will go to church. We will dance. Jump on tables. Jump All through. of that. All through the trauma. <laughs> All love, through the trauma. I love where you are with your career, and I love your, your view on retirement. You want to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. Absolutely. And soon, you want to be in a position where, did you see this quote? I can rent a yacht and call my family and say, Come meet on. me in Spain. <laughs> and send a private jet. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. That's cookie. Okay. Well, listen, we appreciate you. Um, thank, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for your contributions, not just to the industry, mm -hmm. but also what you do off camera. Thank you, you so much. You are incredible talent. Thank you. Nina. Thank we you. recognize you and that. celebrate you. And there's Oscar buzz. That's ah. right. <laughs> <laughs> the Color Purple <laughs> opens in third in theaters on, on Christmas Day, so make sure you run, don't walk. Yeah. Um, tomorrow on CBS Mornings, the Grammy Award winner, Fantasia Barino Taylor, who went off in this film yes. as well, plays Seeley in The Color Purple. She joins us live in studio. Taraji, I'll holla at you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>